Hello and welcome. This is your boy Jack here to do another reaction video. This time I'm reacting to Digidex featuring JW Roy and the track is titled True Neat. Um Ode and Hit Lefen. Uh, obviously completely butchered that, but I do believe that translates to Don't Grieve and Ode to Life. So I'm assuming this has to do with someone on his way out trying to comfort or try to explain and sort of help someone overcome the grief, more or less. I'm not 100% certain, so maybe someone is dying and they're here trying to minimize the grief and the impact that their passing away would do. Or it could be something else entirely, I don't know. This, I was curious about it, I saw it, I think I saw a snippet of it in um, the voice, I'm not quite sure which one, and I was curious, I really loved the sound, I thought it was very interesting, and I did a search, and this is what it came up with, and I can't wait to actually check it out and share the experience with you guys. So, without further ado, let's get this reacting party started. This is Digidex, featuring J.W. Roy, performing Ode to Life. Don't grieve. Do not grieve. All right. I love that. Yep, I remember. <laughs> that chord sounds really familiar. Yeah. Oh, I love that they're opening with the um, with the voice and everything. I do apologize. I'm gonna have to adjust things. All right, sorry about that. I just needed to put up the uh, translated lyrics to my right, so I will be facing that. So I'm not listening to the song, but I need to understand what's been said because this sounds really. I really love what I'm hearing so far, and I can't wait to actually, you know, experience both. All right, so sorry. Let's just continue. We're gonna start from the beginning once again, and we'll go from there. I love, as I said earlier, I love his voice, the voice of whoever. I think that's J.W. Roy, very gu guttural, raspy. Yeah. And it sort of works with the, um, with the music. And as the clock the tide is, I sing for the last time. Call it whiskey <laughs> voice. Yeah. Heb je ooit wel eens bedacht wat je zou zeggen? Als je straks daar ligt voor in die jou kennen. Wat zijn de woorden die je mee zou willen geven? Hier, dus bij deze mode aan het leven. En ik heb alles hier gedaan wat ik wou. Ik heb dingen voor mezelf en gemaakt voor jou. Ik heb het zilver al gezien en gegaan voor goud. Ik had het soms fucking heet en soms dagen koud. Maar ik heb altijd geprobeerd om te gaan voor liefde. Te staan voor mijn naasten, te gaan voor vrienden. Te gaan voor familie in de dag en de nacht. Ik heb zoveel gekregen, niet altijd verwacht. Yeah. En dat is mijn filosofie, dus doe maar één loop. Als ik weg ben, dan denk aan dat. Maar voor je weet is je show voorbij. Dus draai deze nog één keer, één voor mij. En als de klok luidt, de tijd is. Mag ik zing voor de laatste keer. Als ik daar lig in vrede, zing deze dan nog een keer. En als de klok luidt, bouw dan. Okay. True neat. Okay. All right. This was unexpected. I like I said, I did watch the um, I did hear the song in one of those voice competition and usually it's very short snippet i wasn't expecting it to be this expensive and i really love the contrast between roy and dex uh, well the contrast between the styles you have him singing with the really interesting whiskey voice and then you have dex rapping on on the track and you have the m melody going on over there it's like the whole combination just works and gives you this really interesting solemn feeling and at the same time it's a bit hopeful and i really enjoyed that i think it's great i'm sorry i paused i just had to say that and and i'm gonna do my best not to pause because 
I want to experience the whole song at once, and then we'll talk about it later. And I, again, I checked out the lyrics, and basically, yeah, it's called Don't Grieve, and uh, I think it's sort of an ode to life. Yeah, that's basically what it is, an ode to life. All right, let's continue. Ah, nice. You know what I would love? An orchestration of this. Oh, and also, obviously, I love his delivery. I love his flow. I love the cadence. It's actually, it's very interesting and very soothing and very, again, interesting. And also, it's like the musicality of it is just brilliant. It's like he he is, his voice and the way he uses it works with the music and it just flows effortlessly. And usually that's, I usually have problems with rap. So certain artists, or certain artists, I should say, who... No matter how great the lyrics are, they tend to sort of either overpower or under uh, overpower the music, or sort of are or the music actually overpowers them, or they're just a little bit way faster than the music, and it just throws the whole experience off. And sometimes your voice isn't right for the track, and it just becomes a whole mess. In this case. Everything just works in well. Everything blends in the different style, the acoustic, the rap, the uh, the singing <laughs> by Roy. It's just absolutely fantastic, and it just blends in well. Love it. I would love, love some string instruments, orchestration in the background, just build it up, you know. Even though I think this is still beautiful. Uh, and a choral background. That would be so awesome. All right, that's it for the video. All right, so that was Dig Dex. Oh, there's more. All right, that's it. It's just the making of, and absolutely will watch that on my own. Brilliant. Really enjoyed that. I thought it was a very interesting song. Again, I wish it was... I love the stripped down acoustic guitar and the piano in the background, and yeah, that was great. But I think I would have loved a little bit more, a little bit more orchestration, let it a little bit bigger and soaring and haunting and just hauntingly hopeful just you know a build up and you have a choral a uh, singer a uh, background singers in the background i don't know it's uh, that's singing the chorus i guess uh, and just build it up to be this mm, fantastic ode to life and I don't know. I, I you, who knows? I will just do a search. You, you never know. Maybe someone has actually done a version similar to that. You know, just build it up and give it this really grand orchestration um, makeover. 
and will just elevate it into a whole new level. So far, love it. I think it's a great song. I love, as I said, I love his cadence. I love um, J.W. Roy's vocals over there. It just gives it this sense of gravitas. And yeah, I love Digadex's um, delivery, flow, and cadence. And his voice, it just works with the music. And the music is beautiful. And when I talk about music, I'm talking about the instruments, the guitar, and the piano playing in the background. Just absolutely absolutely kills it and i love the laid back attitude and i love the video but I, I wish there was more and maybe there is more i'm gonna have to watch it on my own but i really enjoyed it it was a fantastic track and i can't wait to actually check out more diggy decks i'm quite certain this can't be the only track he's ever done uh because this is actually pretty good all right so with that said you guys should let me know actually if there's another track down i should check out so with that said this is your boy Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's you know when next I drop a new vid. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. And if you've got nothing to say, just say hey. That's absolutely okay. If you disagree with what I've said during this reaction video, wish to expand on what I've said during this reaction video, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. And with that said, this is your boy Jack. You all take care, and I will catch you on the flip side.